I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on multiple choice questions. We will also see how to find tricks to solve it immediately and how to really understand and solve. The question is based on mean, mode and median. It's a very popular topic for many tests. Even in SAT, you could see similar question. The question here is, the data below represents number of hats with grade 12 students. So number of hats 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 8. Number of students 2, 4, 6, 8, 3 and 1. The question based on this data is, which of the following statements about mean and median of number of hats is true? Mean is greater than median, mean is equal to median, mean is less than median, sum of mean and mode is 8. So when you go through the choices, you know the last one is not correct. Now you need to compare mean and median basically, right? That is what the question is. Now it is important to understand that we are talking about weighted mean here. That is very important, right? That is one thing. Second thing, which is median is the center point. So uh, let's count the number of students. So the number of students will be four, uh, 2 plus 4, 6 and 6, 12, 20, 24. So we get sum of students as equal to 24. Center value is is 12. So we are looking at 24 plus 1 divided by 2, 12.5, right? So median is after 12. Number of students 2, 4, 6, and 6, 12. So we are looking for median, which is going to be here. Since there are even number of students, we are going to get some decimal value here. Perfect. So we need to calculate that decimal value. So here, we should calculate using a calculator the calculator is allowed for such questions right so the calculator is allowed. okay now the important thing here is don't jump to conclusions uh, try to do the weighted mean how do you find weighted mean so first thing is you have to multiply these so 2 times 0 is 0 4 times 1 is 4 6 times 2 is 12 and this is 24 and that is 12 and this is 8 times 1 is 8 so you add these terms correct okay, let's do it so we get 0 plus 4 plus 12 plus 24 plus 12 plus 8 the total here is 60 so to get the weighted mean so let's write weighted mean it should be 60 divided by 24, correct? So let's divide this by 24. So it's 5 over 2 or 2.5. So we got the mean. Now, let us see how do we calculate the median. For getting the median, we have to look for the center value. There are 24 in all. So we'll do 24 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 12.5. Now 12.5, if you count, then, uh, see, since the number of hats are already arranged in this order, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, increasing order, we can actually see uh, the 13th student. So we are looking for student in between 12 and 5. That means we are looking for the 13th student, right, in between and the 12th student. So in between, right? So if you see, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. So here we get 12. So 13th student will have 3 hats, correct? So here is your 13th student. You get an idea, right? So the 12th student has uh, 2 hats, 13th student has 3 hats. And therefore, the average will be between 2 and 3. So we get the average value. So average value will be 2 plus 3 divided by 2, which is again 5 by 2, which is 2.5. So what you notice here is that the mean is equal to median. So for such a question, calculation becomes a must. And it really doesn't take much time.
right? So the option mean is equal to median is the correct option. Do you see that part? So that is how you're going to solve it. So sometimes the calculations are must. Uh, if you just make a guess, it is so close that you'll probably make a wrong guess, right? So my suggestion is without wasting time, you should solve and it is not going to take more than a minute. So, and one minute is always there for you to solve such questions. I hope that helps. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.